Hi guys! Today I will show you how I made a snowman cake. Cake. I had a few problems along the way. We might not have enough fun then. That's... They may or may... Uh. All right, let's hope I don't have to redo this. I think he looks super cute, but now I just have to look into his eyes and figure out a name for him. So I hope you guys enjoy. And today I am going to show you how to make a snowman cake. Since we are getting ready for the holidays, this is gonna be a fun way to get um, the holiday season started. Okay, for our snowman project, we need some cake, whatever flavor you want. I personally chose my favorite for the holidays. I just made a vanilla cake with an almond buttercream. So we need four six inch round cakes. And I also make two really tall, you see, four inch rounds, sorry, five inch rounds. I have four six inch rounds and two five inch rounds, yes. I have some dowels, a wood board. I have a 12 inch wood board, some uh, cardboard that I cut out to about four inches wide. I have a threaded rod. This is a three quarters of an inch threaded rod and I have two knots to fit it onto my board. Therefore, we will most certainly be needing our drill. And let's see some, I have some silicone tape to cover the metal rod with. And that's the part that we need, that's the stuff we need for the building. Now for the decorating, we need fondant. So I am using mostly white fondant because it's snow, but you can go crazy and do whatever you want. I have powdered sugar. I have this sprinkle, it's called Sprinkles White Sparkling Sugar. Wilton makes it and we're gonna use this to give it a little, a little shimmer so that it looks more realistic. I also have this really cool, these really cool molds and they are made by Marvelous Molds. They are, they look like sweaters. So we're gonna make the hat and the scarf look like a real sweater. So it's gonna be really cool. Um, as you can see, I haven't tried them out yet, but I know they're gonna be awesome. Um, that's it, that's that, a rolling pin and just whatever tools you have around fondant tools and whatever colors you want to use to dye your fondant and that's all we need. Okay guys, for our snowman project, we need cake. We, will gonna, we are going to be sculpting this cake to look like a snowman. So we're gonna start with four six inch round cakes and two five inch round cakes, but notice that I baked all my cakes pretty tall and um, I can choose to slice them and fill them to make them thinner or just fill them up as we go, but we'll figure it out, that out later. So for now, we need Swiss meringue buttercream. If you wanna know how to make it, go check out my video on how to make the Swiss meringue buttercream. We need a 12 inch wood board, a three quarters of an inch threaded rod, and knots to fit. We need some silicone tape to wrap that with. And of course, we are going to need our drill so that we can make the hole on the board. That's pretty much it for the sculpting and building part. Then for the decorating part, we need fondant. Obviously, white fondant because it's snow. I have uh, purchased this thing. It's called white sparkling sugar from Wilton. And we're gonna use that to just make it um, a little sparkly. We will also be trying out these new molds. They are called uh, rib and cable knit, ribbed boarded. It's just a knitted impression mat that makes your fondant look just like a sweater, which is super cool. So they are made by Marvelous Molds and they're super awesome. I have tried one out, but we're gonna try the rest of them out today. I'm sure they're gonna be really great. So powdered sugar, rolling pin, and that's it. Whatever colors you want to dye your fondant, and that's it. Let's get started. First things first, we're gonna slice the top off our cakes, fill it up with buttercream, crumb coat it, stack it up using our dowels and our other board, and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge so it can chill out for a little bit while I prepare my board. So, all right, let's get to the cutting.
I, I put the board that, I just made the board really small, but then I realized that I originally thought that only the head was gonna go on top of this board, but it's not a big deal. Guys, don't fret. You guys are making me nervous. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's just not going to be as perfect. See, it's totally fine. It's gonna be fine, I'm leaving it. Well, the board goes in the middle just to support. I put the dowels and then I put the board so that the weight of the second tier cake, which is gonna be another three layer cake, does not make the whole thing collapse. See, you can press down on it, a heart, and it's not going anywhere. All right, can, can you guys see how wobbly this is? Ah, if I don't put a metal rod in the middle, then when I carry this cake around, it's probably going to collapse. So that's why we will do the metal rod in the middle. Okay, that's it. It's going to the fridge. If I don't drop it. Okay, now... The thing to decide is where we want to place our snowman. Do we want him to be right smack in the middle or do we want it to be a little bit towards the back? And I think I'm going to go with a little bit towards the back, just lightly. So don't drill your table, drill the board. That's it, it's ready. I will cut a couple of little pieces of wood to put underneath here so that um, compensate for the height of the nut. And then once the cake is ready and cold, I will just push it down. And that's why I had a little hole in the second board. So um, now we wait. Okay, so the cake is in the fridge and I will now continue taking care of the board. I'm going to roll out some white fondant. I am going to use my piping gel that I have here. And I'm going to glue the fondant to the board and then I'm gonna cover the fondant with piping gel again. And then I'm going to use the sanding sparkling white sugar and cover it all up with that. Actually, mm, I may or may not do that yet. I don't know, we'll see. But um, let's start covering it up. Okay, if you guys are wondering about that, I will fix that. It's gonna be okay. It won't be like that forever. This is how I'm gonna fix my wobbly, my wobbly problem. I have cut out little pieces of cardboard. I have my hot glue gun. At the end and for now I'm gonna put this to the side I'm gonna go get my cake and I'm gonna start carving it out now the cake is cold I will start carving it with my nice serrated knife and I will shape it um, I'm gonna try to shape it as uh, three balls but I'm gonna go for a little bit more of a realistic snowman look so I'm not gonna care too much if it's not completely perfect just a little bit. I'll care a little bit, but not too much. All right, I think on the stick. So I will finish putting the little pieces, the little pegs, the little cardboard pieces on the bottom, and I will make a hole on my fondant around the, around the, the stick. 
and I will put hot glue gun because if you guys remember, we have a board on the bottom of this cake, so we're gonna make sure that board will be glued to this board. Ta-da! It's a snowman on a board. Now, um, what to do now? Okay, now I am going to get my buttercream ready. I'm gonna cover the whole thing in buttercream, a very thin layer, ready to start covering with buttercream. I have to say that because I already said it before. Oh, so the one thing here is I'm using this um, spatula that's almost like a spoon, and I like that when I'm covering round cakes because it's not a perfect, uh, a sharp angle from the regular spatula. I can do this. I will add this in the description below if you want to get one of these spatulas. Okay, time to go back in the fridge and then I will start working on the decorations. Okay, first thing, we are going to make the nose. I have orange fondant and a toothpick. So I'm going to sculpt a little nose and then I'm gonna go ahead and work on the arms. I have floral wire. This is about, I think, 16 or 18 gauge, so it's nice and thick and firm. So I'm going to shape it and then cover it with some black, no, brown fondant. And then it'll look like the branches or twigs or whatever, whatever people use in the snow with snowman. There's the carrot nose. Okay. I have some floral wire and I'm gonna use this to attach the smaller pieces to the bigger piece and I need yeah, I don't know if I like that. That'll be fine. Okay, we have two sticks. Now we need the brown fondant. Actually, if they look perfect, then they don't look right. Oh, that's a good stick. It looks like an... Okay. How he look, what he looks like. So next step is cover the cake in fondant. So I'm gonna get my white fondant out, roll it out, get my cake out of the fridge, cover it up. All right, guys, this is the nerve wracking time. It's rolled out. It is um, a little bit shorter than my snowman, but, um, but it should stretch out. So uh, yeah, wish me luck. This is the nerve wracking part. Oh, I forgot to mention then, as soon as I got my cake out of the fridge with my hands, I went and I smoothed the buttercream a little bit so that I wouldn't have any harsh lines on it so i went with my hands like that okay we might not have enough fun then that's they may or may ah. all right let's hope i don't have to redo this um it made it oh thank goodness it was that was going to be a whole redo, but wait, what? Problem averted, is that it mission accomplished? One of those things. Fondant is too thin and cracking, so that means this snowman is gonna have a really long scarf because I don't want to redo it. Here's the thing, today, I decided to use a different fondant. It's, uh, today I'm using Renshaw fondant, which is the British fondant. It is what the royal family gets on their wedding cakes. Um, it, is, it, it is really yummy, but it is really soft. So in a way it's good because it gives you a little more time to work, but it is also softer. So this happens because it stretches a lot easier than satin ice, which is my other favorite. So it depends on the project, which one I use. And they're both really good. Chosen to make my hat a very light blue, because it reminds me of snow. And I am going to use the knitted, um, the knitted mold. Here are some of the other ones that I have. But for this one, I will use the one that's plain. It has no lines. And these are made by Marvelous Molds, and they are awesome.
So with this big guy, I am starting in the middle and then I will go slowly pressing just toward, I'm pressing towards the back, not towards the front. So I press down when I'm going back and I just gently roll it forward. And I'm not worried about the crease here because we're going to put a part, another piece of scarf covering this. All right, now the fun part. Now I will put the nose and the arms and then figure out where the eyes are gonna go and if it needs some buttons, but I don't think it does. It looks too cute without it. All right, arms. He's got arms. Now he needs a nose. I have no idea what people who live in cold places put on their snowman for eyes, but I'm assuming it's black and coalish looking, so that's what we're doing. Here we make cakes that look like snow so that we feel like it's winter. Okay guys, this is it. We have our snowman cake and my snowman cake is called Charlie and he is super cute and I love him very much. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to wear your scarf like Charlie if you're in the cold weather. And don't forget to hit the, the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos so you can keep watching them. And thanks for watching.